Hello and welcome to another edition of the making of the XGS 6502. My name is Joshua Hintz. Uh, this time I'm actually playing around with an AVAR and the propeller chip. So right here I have an Atmel AVAR on here that, which is going to be the final bootloader in our system. This is going to be the thing that's uh, responsible for reading off of like a SD card right here. I have a little micro SD card. Uh, and what it's going to do is it's going to take that program off there and it's going to go and load the 6502, all the program space. But it also what it's going to do is it's going to load the propeller, which is our GPU. It's going to load its little I2CE prom in there. So that way you can have, uh, you can reprogram the actual graphics card, the, the GPU of it. And it's kind of analogous to, you know, pixel shaders and vertex shaders. Basically a reprogrammable GPU that you can do whatever you want with. And that will be stored on the SD card alongside with the 6502 program so people can come up with their own GPUs and displays and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so what do we got going on here? Right now we have a little micro SD card in here that has a little spark fun um, expansion out of it. I also have a spy EEPROM in there and the reason that we have a spy EEPROM in there is so when the SD card is not inserted uh, the, when the 6502 boots up, the XGS, it's going to actually go and read from the SPI EEPROM and it'll still have a, uh, a program to load, kind of like a BASIC or something in there, kind of like the old Atari 800s when he booted up with no disk in or no cartridge in, it would still load up your BASIC program. So that's what we have going on here. Uh, I got over here, I got a programmer, the AVAR programmer, and I also have uh, going up here a little serial port program so I can display some output messages from our AVAR. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and reset this and we're going to go and see what happens. So I resetted it and it's loading up off the SD card and there it shows and it's using shows a little GPU display and all that kind of stuff. So that's that's what I have right now loaded on the SD card. Now if we come over here to the uh, hyper terminal display, we have a little welcome. It's going to tell, talk to us. It's, we're basically that SD card is a FAT16 uh, partition on it. It's going to tell us all the things: the sector, location, size, you know, FAT16 type, the files that are on there. So I have a HEL uh, EEP EEPROM program. I have a C64 EEPROM on there. So basically, what I did was I, I hard coded it. So I loaded this HEL EEP off there. It read it in wrote it out and it's done and then it displayed on the screen. So that's what we see. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and eject the SD card. So this would be like somebody taking it out of their 6502. And I'm going to go ahead and hit reset here. And the screen goes away and after a few seconds it loads up this other screen. So this is this is would be like your basic on there. I just put a different program on there that I downloaded from the Parallax this is forums. And when we go back over to the hyper terminal, it says welcome, uh, error getting volume information, no SD card detected, copying from SPI EEPROM. So basically, that's what we did. We copied it right off of the SPI EEPROM into the propeller and then reset the propeller. So essentially, that's how you can expect things to work when we come and produce and, and uh, come out with our final XGS 6502. All right, goodbye.